get right into it because I think it's a topic that is just, we have such a lack of education in our community and we need to really start making these conversations in a positive way. So uh, share with us a little bit of your experience and what you feel we can do to educate our community on MAID in the North. Thanks. Yeah, I totally agree. There's a big gap in awareness, and then when people do have awareness, they don't understand the information um, that's actually factual about it because there's lots of myths out there. So, want to really touch on the, the commonest myths as well as get people to understand the facts about made and um, and, the, and a little bit about the history so they can understand it more. It's important for people to be aware of it and then know to know the facts behind it. Okay. So, um, I could run through some of the facts that I really yeah, want absolutely. people to share. Please do. Um, so if we could go to my slides, the conversation in Canada really starts with Sue Rodriguez in 1993 and she's famous for saying, who owns my life? And if she can't consone, consent to her own death, whose body is this anyways, you know? So, um, so she had ALS, which is a really not pleasant disease to die by. So just so you know, what that picture doesn't demonstrate is how weak she is. She can't move her arms. She has trouble breathing. She has trouble swallowing. She has trouble speaking. Um, and she's requested, uh, it's a very nasty death. So um, she um, took her court, went to the Supreme Court of Canada, and she lost five to four. And On one of the Supreme Court's judges subsequently expressed remorse and concern about that. <laughs> 